The most underrated tool in Logic Pro X has got to be the Marquee tool, simply because of all the things that it allows you to do. Because if you're not already using this, I'm gonna show you why you should be using this. So Logic gives you two options to have two different tools. So if you look at the top, you've got your pointer tool, which is your main tool, and then beside it, I've got my marquee tool. So if yours isn't the marquee tool, then you wanna go down and click onto your marquee tool. Let me show you the good stuff with the marquee tool. First of all, you can use your marquee tool to select a portion of any file, anywhere in your edit window. And once you've selected, selected that file, you can just press play and it's gonna play from that point. If you create a selection that you just wanna loop, create a selection, press command and new, and now you've got a loop. So the third thing what I like about the marquee tool is you can just click and cut a section without having to go all the way in and choose a scissor tool and then cut. No, we don't want to do that. The marquee tool just speeds up your whole workflow. So we don't need to go to the scissor tool to cut. The marquee tool will do that for you. If you want to cut a selection, you can cut a selection. So we do is click, drag across, click, hold, drag across, click, hold, drag across, click on the selection and just delete it. And that's as simple as that, speedy. If you've got a few files that you're working with and you're just trying to clean up your session, you can cut around a selection and just clean everything up. Nice and simple and get rid of all dead space. Nice. Fifth reason why you need to be using a marquee tool is, I'll just get those back a sec. You can use it as a playback head. So you just press command, because that's your second tool. Click and that's your playhead. So you can start playing from any any place that you want to play from. Simple. The sixth thing that I want to talk about is selecting a portion and duplicating. So for example, you wanted to process that piece of audio on its own. You just simply create a selection and then drag and drop it down onto a new channel, <laughs> then release. So if you wanted to, I don't know, maybe you wanted to mute that part and you wanted to process this a little bit different maybe i don't know you want to put some distortion on it or something like that then you can or if you wanted to manipulate two parts in the same section you can so the bottom one would be processed different to the top seventh reason why you should be using a marquee tool is for automation if you don't know how to automate use automation i've got a video showing you how to automate so for example you want to pan we could just go to the pan which is in our selection on the channel. And then we can use our marquee tool, click, drag across, click your mouse again. It looks like it's made two nodes, but it hasn't. It's actually made four nodes. So when I go up or down, it's now automated a selection for me. And I could do that again. Same drag and click, push up. So now the audio will go from, from right to left. Super cool. So now you know how to use the marquee tool. Watch this next video as I show you how to use automation.